As barrel churns towards the Texas coast, businesses up and down Galveston Bay are worried about storm surge. Many of them took on water during Tropical Storm Alberto last month, and they fear they're in for more. ABC 13's Luke Jones is in San Leon. We're right here along the bay, only a few feet above sea level. Any storm surge and all of that water comes right back here to this restaurant. This happens about once a year. This would be the second time this year, and we're only in July. On sunny days, being on the water is a huge asset to restaurants like Topwater Grill in San Leon. But with barrel churning toward the coast, it's a liability. If we have a high tide and then the high wind and then the storm blows the water up, so it could get knee deep, waist deep. Owner Robert Jacobus is keeping his eye on the forecast. Last month, his business took on several inches of water during Tropical Storm Alberto. But thanks to the series of hidden drains they installed after Hurricane Ike, the water wasn't sitting here for long. So we washed it out. We could be open four hours after a storm surge. So we're ready for it. We've been through plenty of them. So have Fred and Teresita Bartolome in their 46 years as business owners in Seabrook. The worst one that we have is the Hurricane Ike. It's that storm that wiped out five of their businesses. Now all that remains, the Pier 8 restaurant and this home health care business. But they've already begun piling up important documents. It is really scary, you just, uh, I don't know, you cannot sleep at night thinking, you know, what will happen next and all this kind of stuff, yeah. If they haven't already, other Seabrook businesses say they will be getting storm ready. I come in on Sunday at like 8 and then pick all the stuff up off the floor, done, it's about it. I get as dry as can. No easy feat when you're working with all this water. In San Leon, Luke Jones, ABC 13 Eyewitness News.